This video is of the Hastings Snowmos Vintage and Antique Snowmobile Show and Ride in Hastings, Minnesota. This video contains vintage as well as newer snowmobiles. See the link in the video description to the Hastings Snowmo Snowmobile Club Facebook page and website. Articat Panther. Little baby Polaris 120. John Deere Sport Fire. John Deere 300. Back to the John Deere Sport Fire. And then that loud snowmobile you heard was a Polaris 500 Indy. This would be Indy 500. Got a little skidoo. Look like it's been in a barn for a while, maybe. Collecting some dust. Got a Polaris Pro S. A little Articat. ZR120. Going 45 miles per hour, standing still. Almost 7,000 RPM. Got the hand warmers. Got all the controls. Articat Triple Touring. Skidoo's Formula 500. Mm -hmm. 
Yamaha SXR 700. Snowmobile. Yamaha SRX 440. Awesome. I like the Indies. This is a Rupp Sprint 29. Get out of the way here, got my shadow. Bright sun today. I have two Polaris Sport 440s. Snow Pony Super Express, 1969, Cooper All, Super Racer. This thing is clean for Let's give you a sense of scale or size on this racing snowmobile. Only up to about my hip here. That's how small this little snowmobile is. The snowmobile is almost as old as I am and it's in way better shape. He said they won every race except for if they broke down. <laughs> Which is believable that it could happen. Oh, yeah. 
Skidoo Mach Z Rotax 800 Triple. Nineteen seventy four Rolo Flex FA four forty Moto ski. Nineteen seventy nine supersonic moto ski, three forty. Nineteen seventy nine Skidoo Blizzard, seventy five hundred, three forty engine. Columbia snowmobile. Oh, with the farm over there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was making me load it. Yeah. Well, I got just, I'm like, I get it. Down in front of the railroad bridge down here. So whatever you want for background. Just take it, send it in. Um, <laughs> Don't walk by it. Little Yamaha Snow Scoot. Oh, yeah. Ours is back by the building. Two spots. There's a newest thing that's called the right side of the which I haven't seen before. You know, I thought of, I was going, you know what, I could, you know, I've got round signs with the board logo on it, and I can take it. Claris Gemini, or Gemini. This one's been on the starting point. Remember, I haven't seen that. Do you want your bar one? Uh, Danny called. 1972 Yamaha. 643. We're going to be leaving in about 50 minutes. Half going to call it after a million. Kind of let me know who was all going. So we'll be leaving. What, 15, 20 minutes then, so. It's up to you if you want to go to coast. Cool. Well, Mother's help. Yeah. Thank you. Depends on when you go on the ride. Skidoo Rotax 670. John Deere Slyke Clone 340. John Deere Trail Fire 440. <laughs> Trail Fire is a 
take a look at the ears of these two Arctic cats. This is, both of these are 1973. So to the left we have the 1973 Articat Panther 440, and then to the right the 1973 Articat Panther 340. This is one of my favorite snowmobiles coming up. It's a 1972 Polaris. This one's a pretty snowmobile with a red, white, and blue. I think I saw this last or two weeks ago in uh, the Blacksmith Lounge for the Stillwater Snowmobile Show. I'll put a link in the description of this video to that show. I have the two videos actually, one of the trail ride and then one of the various snowmobiles at the show. And here we have a Polaris 1979 TX250. rider's point of view. <laughs> Windscreen's only of use, I think, if you uh, duck down. And got another Polaris TXL 1978. Here we have a 1979 Yamaha SRX 440. It's a TX-634. Cat Panther, 1970. Engine size is 760, that's an awful lot of engine. Yamaha VMAX XTC 600. It's a 1991 Yamaha Exciter 2 570.
Yamaha Enticer 340. It's a 1979 Enticer 340. 1980 Polaris TXC 340. Yamaha Phaser 2. Four eighty CC. Polaris Pro X. 600. It's a 2002. Nineteen sixty six Skidoo Olympique S. Reflects it's an I five hundred replica. Bombardier. Skidoo TNT 340. It's a 1976. Polaris Indy 600. 1986. Scorpion Sidewinder. We got a scorpion stinger.
Got the STP aftermarket stickers on it. If you know what year of Scorpion Stinger this is by looking at it, make sure to comment below. The struggle is real. That's what you got to do to steer on cement or tar. I got a 1973 Articat Cheetah 440. Great condition. No, so it's just the wrong test. I'd rather run a mile on it. 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 I'd r
Pronounced sacks or socks, depending on probably where you live. Articat Pantera 340. Articat Pantera 5000. I was refined when I pulled in up here. I got the guard truck and the couch and turned the top off. All the things that this one's all turned in. Just went around. Okay, we got the 1925 Model T Ford modified by the Snowmobile Corp. Skidoo TNT 894 Yamaha Exciter 440. Moto Ski Mirage One. Yamaha Exciter 440. Skidoo Road Tax 440 MXZ. Polaris XC 500. XC 500 SP Yamaha 
In addition to all the snowmobiles, we had a variety of different people arrive on their four-wheelers. Can-Am Renegade. Mainly all Can-Ams. Well, the first couple are all Can-Ams. Can-Am Outlander. 1000R V-Twin EFI. Rotax 4x4. Player Sportsman 570 EFI. Another Can-Am Renegade, 1000R V-Twin 4x4. And another Renegade with the 1000R V-Twin. Massey Ferguson Ski Whiz 500 SST. Fresh from the trail ride. <laughs> Skidoo Alon. A little bit of a sled behind it. Yes. Carry the kids. Uh, Maybe room for one adult. Yeah. Rup Sport. 30 horsepower, it says on the side. Yeah, I know, right? YouTube. YouTube under what? Uh, Vehicle Mundo is what I call the channel. Mundo? Yeah, it's like mainly cars, but I've been doing snowmobiles the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay, cool. They've, they've seen you out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were at the Stillwater show a couple oh, of weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, we used to go to one every weekend. The 1925 Ford Snowmobile Corporation Model T. Custom wood skis. Here we go. 
1925 Model T Ford equipped with a snowmobile conversion built by Snowmobile Corp of West Ossipee, New Hampshire in the United States. Used by mail carriers, doctors, power companies, manufacturing from 1923 to the 1940s. This unit was originally owned by a doctor in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. Current owner is Ken from Rosemont, Minnesota. <laughs> Side of the sun, so you can get a better sense of it all. It's a Dakota Trail Snowmobile Association snow track for grooming the trails. Need any signs? Contact Kathy's House of Signs.com. Polaris, Ham's Bear Snowmobile, Bush Light. Got the Rupp Snowmobile sign.
Thank you for watching this video of the Hastings Snowmo Snowmobile Club 2023 Vintage and Antique Snowmobile Show and Ride.